Professor, forgive me, but I would like for you to explain what relation exists between the magnetic fields and the fact that once this region was not underwater and the disappearances. The only explanation that's logical is the existence of strong magnetic fields. On the other hand, what we've seen proves without a doubt that these grottoes were once on the surface. Yes, but... How do you explain it, Peter? The explanation of those, those disappearances should be associated with the presence of underwater currents caused by the attraction of the magnetic fields. In spite of common sense telling me otherwise, I hope that you'll be able to prove that what you say is true. In the future, that which now seems impossible will be normal. So it seems that it's evident that the cause of the phenomenon no unknown factor exists. That, however, doesn't explain in any way those disappearances. We need some sign. And only in this ocean is it possible to find a solution. Would it be possible, Professor, for you to be more precise? Well, according to Valentine's theory, there exist forces from outer space situated below the sea. According to Einstein, these unidentified objects are a kind of spaceship which existed on our planet millions of years ago and are now trying to return, carrying out authentic kidnappings. Unifying these two theories, I've come to the conclusion that these disappearances are due to the workings of extra-human intelligences, and that they work hidden in the depths of the seas. And if that is the case, all of our ignorance is directly to be blamed on those space creatures and all of our difficulties come straight from them. I hope that you'll be able to prove that what you say is true. The hypothesis, I mean. Here in this part of the ocean is located the so-called Bimini complex. No existing human technology could have constructed it on the face of the earth as we know it today. Even less have created anything so overwhelming below in the depths of the sea. So there's only one explanation for it. They were constructed by a civilization unknown to us. John Spencer sustains, however, that other beings from outer space visit us periodically on this planet. I only hope that this is scientific truth and not here. Seems like the old guy's afraid. It's fear produced by ignorance. Because anyone who becomes important gets frightened that people should discover that beings more intelligent than they exist and more powerful, that's the real truth. For many years, the authorities, civil and military, have obstinately tried to hide any first-hand testimonials concerning encounters with any beings from outer space. Ah! Uh -huh.
what if these same unknown creatures were the ones secretly directing things? They would be able to stop the circulation of any kind of news. I'm convinced of this that they really exist. They have to be very evil. No, no, not exactly. You lost the daughter, and that's undoubtedly the reason you think like that. But you're wrong. My opinion is just the opposite. I, I really believe that those creatures are profoundly human. What is that? Phosphorus and very dark. Looks like we're getting ready for a storm some miles to the north, and there's been a strong electrical disturbance. No, 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 no. It wasn't lightning. It's the souls of the dead living in the depths. Well, just in case, I'm going to go and check the weather report. Yeah, I'll go with you. 